Greetings of the day, my friends. This is Ruhani Bakshi on the behalf of Matrid Technologies, a 15 year old software and web development company, wholeheartedly welcoming you all for a learning session of Magento 2 of how to set up multiple stores, websites, or we simply say managing stores. A Magento 2 installation gives us with a power hierarchy of website stores and store views. With different domains or even with the same domain, we can have many separate websites that will not share any of the elements like shipping and payment methods or cart etc. Under each website, we can have as many stores. These multiple stores will share various things like payment methods, user sessions and cards, but they have different catalog structures. Under each store, we contain at least one store view. The web pages can be represented in a different manner with different store views, and each store view can support different language. Separate root categories of stores will provide them with different set of menu options as well. So. The time is to get started with our action and see how we set up all these things. For this, we will dive in into our Magento 2 admin panel. Right? From here, we further swim to stores and fetch all stores. Now, clicking on this uh, option of all stores, we will have the present screen. Right? This present screen of stores have the facility to create three entities, the website, the store, and store view. So let's start creating first a website. So we click on this big button you see here, create a website. Just click on this. Clicking on the button of create website, we will get our present screen having website information and the first option under this is the name which will be the new website domain which for an instance we will type in like metridtech.com next is the code which is used by the server in order to direct to domain this can be of any combination from a to z in lowercase 0 to 9 and even having underscore We'll type in for an instance metrid underscore tech. Right. Thirdly is the sort order which is optional to prioritize the site sequence over other sites. We need to put zero to give the highest priority. Okay, so we're keeping it as a zero. Okay. Next is the set as default checkbox you see here, right? This will make our site as default website for a Magento 2 installation. So we are just keeping it as such. So let's save the work done so far and we can quickly see our output on the store's main page after this. Here you can see on the store's main page we have our new website metritech.net. Okay, so this metritech.com is the new website we just made. Now, next we'll be creating a store. Right, for this we need to click on this link, create store. Okay, so under store information we are going to have our three things. First is the website. Okay, so we need to pay attention to this, uh, this fact that we can create multiple stores with the same admin panel of Magento 2. Our multiple stores which are created under the same website will be having the same domain, security certificate, IP address and as well checkout. So when we are creating a website, we can see our the first thing which is coming under this is the website. Right, that is the luminary of the family, or we say the parent website in Magento term, to which our store will be associated. So we are going to select the website here, newly made matritech.com. Okay, 
Next is the name. Name that will be for internal reference only. So we are keeping it be like Matrid Magento Store. Matrid Magento Store, right? Now, lastly, we have the root category. Now, this will give the category structure to our new store. We can either select our already created specific root category or default category. So we are selecting default category for our instance. Great. Now we have to save all the things. And saving this, we will get our main page of the store. Here you go. You have the main page of the store having a new store, Metroid Magento store, right? The next priority is to create a store view. So we have to click on this link. Let's click on this. Clicking on the link, we will get the screen of a new store view. Here you can see, right? Store views are are used by the stores to support different languages, different designs, or reap any other localization benefits. It enables customers to use different templates for each store view as well. So let's create a store view by starting with our first option, which is of store, right? Which we need to assign to our store view as a parent store. Here we're going to select a newly added store that is Metrid Magento store. Second is the option for the name we wish to give to our store view that will be shown as options under the language chooser of store header. So we are going to select it French. Okay. Next, uh, third option is of code, which indicates that uh, this is about the store view and it is given in the lowercase letters the way we have given in the A to Z. So we are going to write, type it right. French here. Right. Next option is of status, having the options for the disable or enable. So we are going to select it as enabled. The last option is of sort order, which determines the sequence for our store view. So we can select that as zero to make it come on the top of the list. Right. Next one. Next is to save. So when we just save this all, we can see now on the screen that we are having our all the things metridtech.com, our new website, Metrid Magento store, which is our new store, and the French, which is the store view. Great, right? So the thing is, after saving all this, these things, we can even change the locale of the store view, which will translate your titles, buttons, labels, links for the site navigation. But for that, I'm gonna discuss that in our, my another video, which will be how to make your store as multilingual. Okay. For now, thank you so much for having the patience and listening to us. Do leave your suggestions. As we are 24-7 available to make your Magento uh, store working smoother and more simpler with our easy Magento help. Even if you feel like you want to uh, reach us for any of the Magento services, you can easily reach on Magento at the rate of matridtech.net. So just go and explore your Magento store with our easy Magento help. Take care. Have a great time. Bye-bye.